Welcome to the Minute of Strength. Last week, I talked to you about using the Kettlebell Buddy to progress through some of your workouts by adding that small increment of weight, two kilos or four kilos, to your existing bell to increase your workload subtly. This week, the Ala Rope is simply a six foot piece of rope with a sleeve on it that allows you to change, you, allows you to change your grip, change the way you move this bell and the way your body decelerates and handles this movement pattern. So what we do is we just, I'll leave the buddy, the buddy on. I just, I roll this around a couple of times with the handle. And what dictates this is the length of your arms and the type of swing you have. If I'm swinging this through my leg and the, and the bell hits the ground, I need to roll this through one more time. So I'm gonna put it through an extra time just for the heck of it. You can see how I roll that through a couple of times. And that should be sufficient for me being on the ground, I'm not propped up on plyo boxes, which is another way to do this, this exercise. All right, so if I want to challenge my swing, the first thing that will get challenged, in this case for most people, is their grip. All right, so instead of hanging on to or hooking my hands onto the kettlebell, now I'm holding on to this rope. I'm going to start with a dead swing, start right behind my legs, and start to swing. And create that pendulum effect. Keep my arms connected to the rope. Squeeze my glutes nice and tight at the top, very relaxed. What this does, and you've seen me do this on minutes of strength before, this breaks a lot of habits that people may have where they swing with their arms first instead of their hips, or if they're way too aggressive with their hip snap, where they're popping that hip through where the, your shoulder and your hip are moving at two different times instead of working in unison with each other. So the rope, adding the outlaw rope, also corrects some bad habits. Another cool thing about the outlaw rope is doubling up. This is one of my favorite exercises. As you can see, we're using Green Bay Packers Outlaw Rope. It's one of their favorites also. Now I start to swing, and this, this really slows down the whole process. I can feel on the deceleration, I can feel my lower abs kick in. I can feel myself not wanting to rush through the ascent or the descent of this bell. I can add a hand-to-hand -hand into this. Fantastic progression to further challenge your training, add a little variety without always having to add more weight. This has been such a great challenge for people in progression where I try to get that mindset away from constantly having to go for the bigger weight, the bigger bell. If they have bad habits with the small bell, they can have it with the big. So I get two, you know, I kill two birds with one stone. We fix the bad habits with the outlaw rope. We subtly add a little bit of weight with the kettlebell buddy. By the time I switch over and I progress my client or myself to the next size bell, I'm already there. I've already got the tools necessary to appreciate the benefits and understand the benefits of that size bell. All right, so give these a shot. We'll see you next week.